armor in full flight. You might also think there's nothing more ridiculous than the sight of grown men pushing away inside a collection of homemade pedal cars. But that's what's happening here at Bristol, where they're getting ready for what they consider to be one of the major events in the British motor racing calendar. After all, there's nothing quite like it. These junky juggernauts don't have engines or gears, just leg power. Or is the whole thing a leg pull? They're off, and for those of you who still think there's nothing to beat Le Mans for thrills and racetrack spectacle, just hang on to your seats for the most furious and dangerous test of a driver's skill yet devised. If you can't quite believe that this highly organized ordeal is completely serious, it's worth noting that it's a student rag stunt devised by Bristol University charity raisers who'll do anything for money, provided it's in a good cause. Naturally, no one's expected to keep at it right round the clock, so each of these crazy cars is driven by a team of six. Observe their split-second takeover routine, breathtaking timing, and teamwork. We're not quite sure what that sentiment's got to do with it, but Fred here knows a thing or two about the straight and narrow. He just laps up being lapped. It's all a question of precision engineering and delicate design. See the flawless perfection as the powerhouse revolves. What you might call a symphony in motion. Drivers have a testing time, keyed up in the pits, waiting to take on the top speed challenge. And the relentless struggle goes on. Entrants come from universities and colleges all over the country, and it's a do-or-die competition. It wouldn't be polite to call that lot a shower, though if there's a car you can take a bath in. But right now the great moment is approaching as the timekeepers are gripped with uncontrollable laughter, uh, sorry, tension. As the fearful fate of number 13 threshes in the balance. Can number 13 pull it off? Not on your life. It's 84 all the way. 